So make believe we don't have counterweight. We're going to um, keep the the bridge from turning over by using your muscle. Mm -hmm. uh, so that line, that string, is the line of force. Literal line of force. Okay. Now, and the uh, if we can have that line going at a right angle. Okay. So use that. We can test it out. So right angle to this line. Right there, so our line should be about like that. Better. So if you go at that at that angle, which is at right, at, so the line of force is at a right angle to uh, the pivot point. Goes to the pivot point, right? Then we've got. Let's grab that uh, poster. Yep. And run the numbers. So we're going to have the same two bricks as our load, nine point right. four pounds. And that gets us 376 inch pounds of torque, counter, uh, sorry, load side. Yes. We want to match that with our line and muscle power. So we take our 376 inch pounds of torque, and now instead of using 30 inches, we use our 28 inches because that is the shortest distance from our line of force to the pivot point. That line right there, 28 inches. So we take 376. Divided by 28 inches, we get about 13.4 pounds. So you need 13.4 pounds muscle to counteract the the two brick load. load. Yep. And remember, it has to be at a right angle. That'll get us the most amount of uh, least amount of force, greatest amount of torque. So about like that. Okay. Now, what if we? What if we can't do this? Yeah, what if for some reason we can't get that far away, we have to get in closer? In real life, things are messy, so there could be a lake here, There could it could be too far away. So what if we need it much shallower? Shallower angle. Okay. That would take much more force than our right angle. Well, that, okay, we've got to run the numbers. Hold on a second. Yep.